Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss an important topic that is impacting lives across the UK and around the globe. We're talking about the significant rise in teenage girls developing eating disorders and self-harming during the COVID pandemic. Let's dive into the topic, shall we? A recent study found a startling increase in these mental health issues, particularly among girls living in the wealthiest areas. This could be due to better access to general practitioners in those regions. Let's hear from Annabelle, a 19-year-old girl from Surrey, who graciously shared her story with us. Her experience was echoed by Sophie Rowland, an 18-year-old from South Shields, who has been sharing her recovery journey from anorexia on TikTok. Sophie's story gives us insight into the profound impacts of the pandemic and lockdown on young people's mental health. These personal stories highlight an alarming trend. Between 2020 and 2022, the number of diagnoses of eating Disorders among 13-16 year olds far exceeded predictions, as did cases of self-harm. The researchers behind the study are calling it a staggering rise. Dr. Shruti Garg, a child and adolescent psychiatrist and the author of the study, explains the potential causes behind these increases. She cites prolonged exposure to social media, a greater focus on body image, and the psychological distress of lockdowns as potential triggers. But let's not forget that mental health challenges can affect anyone, regardless of gender or economic status. Charities like Beat and Young Minds argue that everyone, no matter where they live, should have access to early mental health support. They emphasize that the NHS is under huge strain and struggling to provide timely help to those who need it most. Moving forward, the Department of Health and Social Care has stated they recognize the devastating impact eating disorders can have they plan to invest an additional £2.3 billion a year in NHS mental health services by March 2024, alongside £54 million a year to increase capacity at children and young people's community eating disorder services. If you or anyone you know has been affected by the issues we discussed today, please know that help and support is available. We'll be sharing some useful resources in the description below. Thank you for joining us today. Please like, share, and Subscribe to keep the conversation going and raise awareness about this important issue. Stay safe and take care of each other.